So when I got here, he was already swearing a bunch. Peacefully protesting. Peacefully protesting against... Peacefully protesting the <laughs> removal of the part out of the mold. <laughs> yeah. So that was a doozy. But you got it out, and it actually looks pretty good. Yeah, it's all right. Um, we had a pretty bad bridge up here, but it's, it's fillable. It's fine. So I used tape on the visible surface, so now i got to basically dig all this out. So we're back down to carbon. So that'll take some time. But yeah, so this is a side pod, uh, driver's side, if you will. It's, uh, it's all right. It's light. I mean, the whole thing is. Oh yeah. Ten pounds, maybe fifteen. But it'll be under fifteen complete. So. Well, it, it again, it just completely always amazes me. Like you see it on camera, and it'll never do it justice. But again, this is like another nine foot part. No, it's twelve. Is it twelve? Yeah, it's just under twelve feet. Jeez. Um, with with the changes we're doing with this this car, this is actually probably going to get cut off about here. Right there. Um, which we'll unveil that later on, but uh, basically we need more radiator exit. And you can see how this is taller right here, it ramps up. Yeah. So we're gonna have about a, I don't know, foot tall exit above the diffuser. Okay. So that's how we're doing that without redesigning the whole car. We're just gonna cut this short. So, and we've extended the wheelbase by about 10 inches. Um, so yeah, that's, that. So, say I'm going to trim this up and then we can kind of mock it up on the car. I, I sort of tossed it in there earlier, but it's so far, you know, I got to trim all these excess things off. So we'll do that and go from there. Cool. So we're going to let him do his thing. I know Connor and Ray are going to be working on getting the other side pod ready. So hopefully we can lay some carbon on that one. And then I can actually be there to record that process because I was not here and they got this out quick. So let's get into it. can't build the floor until we have the gearbox, which is no longer going to be an Albans, which I'm going to start dripping that in real nice for y'all as time goes on. Uh, so basically, so we, can, we don't have a floor, but I've kind of simulated the floor. Uh, I think we have to cut that side pot off. So I got to, I got to do some measurements and or take some measurements in CAD and confirm that the part is actually tall and then kind of trim as needed so but uh yeah i think this comes up to about there which kind of matches what i thought but we're still like four inches off yeah four or five inches off so basically we're gonna cut that side pod down and drop it down but that's gonna wait until i get a floor and a gearbox and so all that jazz when that lands in march late march i'm not gonna be sleeping for like a month because i basically gotta build a car in a month so. Thanks, Alvins. Did you actually ever say who oh. is doing the other one? Um, no, uh, oh. Sadev is. So Max from Sadev, I met at PRI in 2017, and he's been great. The issue was their gearboxes were never rated for the torque that we could make, so we didn't really actually consider it. But it's also the same gear set that the. Peugeot ran in 2013, basically the same gearbox. So we know they, they can take the abuse, so we kind of just made the decision to um, chance it, if you will, even though I'm sure they're gonna be fine. Uh, they're limiting us at 1,000 Newton meters and, and horsepower, but torque is what really matters, So, which is like 740 foot-pounds, um, which really stinks, because that engine's almost gonna make that NA. So that being said, we're just gonna, control it with boost. Normally you hit peak boost and then the boost drops. Uh, we're going to be able to ramp boost up to maintain that 740 and just carefully ramp it in so that way it doesn't shock the drive lines, strip gears, all that stuff. So, so we're running a state of gearbox. We designed a gearbox in two weeks um, with them. They were great to work with. Uh, Albin's not so much. So 
get into more of that as time goes. Um, but trying to stay positive and jam out. Yeah. Cool. Thank you. All right. So Connor's actually going to be laying the first layer of carbon on the other side pot. So let's go see what he's up to. Oh, you're already making progress. Yes, sir. How you doing? Doing very well. How are you? I'm, I'm good. <laughs> he, as you can tell, guys, he's a, he's a little bit nervous because this is kind of the first time of him laying this portion over here. It's a little bit obviously more intricate than kind of starting down here, but Cody's got to do some loose tooling over so there. We have the wheel well right here. Yeah. Which is probably the more confusing part, which is kind of kind of intimidating. It's just got to lay right. Yeah. yeah. It's just got to lay right. I'm going to make sure that there's still some overlap because I want to make sure there's still some overlap, but not, I want to make sure there's overlap in all corners so I can just fold it and have a, a clean seam instead of me missing some and having to make, I don't know, I don't want to, I don't want to make it look weird. Yeah, I get what you mean. <laughs> I know, I was about to say, I see here is where you have like kind of your lines for sectioning off and stuff. Because mm -hmm. you guys break this piece up into how many sections to lay? Uh, two big sections and then we kind of just cut a small piece and then cut it into different little sections and just lay it over that top, that piece right there. Okay. And um, and then just lay them over top of each other after that. So. Gotcha. It's good. Yeah. So two big main pieces, and then any extras, we're basically just gonna kind of like slap on. Cool. So. It's a little sweet. All right. Thanks for giving me the lowdown. Yeah. Again, guys, I know it's really repetitive, especially nowadays, but we got to get these parts laid up because it is crunch time. I know Cody's already been stressing a lot about what we can do to get the car ready and the time frame that we have. So I'm glad Connor's been doing extremely well. He's been getting the hang of it. Obviously, there's just things that we just need to kind of rush and get done. So they've been turning out really well, though. So I know he, there's a couple of little things with the other side pod that he's going to have to fix, but hopefully this will lay up really well and we can continue the streak going. We got this. Got this side pod. Uh, it's infused. I didn't do any footage. Uh, I had a very uh, interesting couple days, so filming was not on my mind. Um, so yeah, it's getting ready to go into the blankets. Um, just getting the last, last little bit of resin through it. The other, the other one turned out all right. Um, so yeah. Getting ready to cap this. I've already got a couple heaters on it just to get started. And then once this is done, fuel cell. Yeah. Drop the ball in the fuel cell because we need that and it's like a six week wait. So we got a, I'm gonna have Brian on that later today. Okay. He's tacking nuts on the autoclave so they're permanently done so we can just deal the bolts. There he is. These nuts. These nuts. <laughs> These nuts. Check your nuts. Always check your nuts. Um, and yeah, we got the Can-Am, the, the Nissan Altima Can-Am. Yeah, yeah, the Nissan Altima Can-Am. Uh, clamshell in the back, getting ready to mold, we're adding flanges on that, so. Sweet. Oh, busy. And then maybe this weekend I might go ham and rip this thing apart. Yeah. Like, literally just rip all the body panels off. Uh, John wants to strip down bare chassis minus whatever's needed to run the engine, which is a small block, so not much. <laughs> so, and a brake light, so. All right. Try to get that down. Uh, had a conversation with Haltech regarding NV8 stuff. Uh, we'll have that stuff in the next couple weeks. We do have to wire it, which sucks. Because they do not have a plug and play harness yet for a V8, so. They don't. They don't. No. Not yet. They will. It's just, they're, it's not going to be done at any time that we need it. So if I gotcha. want to, I want to <laughs> own a Nexus run in the car, I got to use, uh, use the, you know, I got to do some wiring, so. Because that's their new... That's their new setup, right? The Nexus. Yeah, that's been out for almost a, over a year now, I think. Oh, it has. It's been a minute, yeah. So, but it's got an integrated, uh, integrated PDM. It's got uh, data acquisition, all the stuff that we need. So sweet. Do it, be done. 
uh, Supercar Systems, they've started cutting the Big Bay Billet Block. So they're projecting sometime in April for that. I don't know exactly when. Cool. Um, if they get that done and dyno and they're happy with it, we might just start mock up with that because we'll have the gearbox from SATA in the next couple of weeks. So. Really that quick? In March. It's oh already, yeah, it's it is. Holy moly. First week of March. Yeah. So. Yeah, so jam out. Sweet. I know you've been, you guys have been kicking butt on trying to get parts oh, done. Yeah. Kind of. I've just got it pumping resin right now. Jeez, what are you doing over there? I don't know. <laughs> Just making a ruckus. Just making a ruckus. Cool. Well, thank you for the update, sir. A few moments later. So, exciting things. We found out the new engine cover pictured here is ready from the foam, people. Vans pattern. So, we're going to go get that uh, tomorrow. Next. Uh, I've got Rob uh, Brian working on the fuel cell, so I got to get a measurement. Gosh, that thing is so sexy. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so I'm getting a measurement from the engine to the firewall, so I know how deep to do the uh, fuel cell because we need more volume than the previous car. So. And we have lengthened the uh, wheelbase by about 10 inches. So. so I am a silly guy with CAD, but I'm learning. Measure. We'll go from there to there. Inches. All right, we've got about 17 inches, so I'm gonna make it 15 inches. No, 15 inches, right there. That's closer. Okay, so yeah, uh, I'm gonna go like 14 inches. Give it a solid inch, it'll give room for other things. I'm gonna take a picture of that so I have it on my phone, and then I can go out there and actually look at the car. Boom. Okay. Oops. I don't think you guys are ready. So you can see I've got the gearbox. You can see I've got the suspension clevis points. Oh, I see a little turbo poking in up there. There that's, it is. That's the show clearance there. So turbo's going to go there. Exhaust tubing is going to come like this and go up to that. Obviously, we'll clear all that, but. You can see why we need the gearbox to even remotely finish the car because it is absolutely required to finish the car. Yeah. So. Um, yeah, Sadev was great to work with. We designed uh, this plate here. So it's a bell housing plate adapter to the actual bell housing. And then you can see here chassis points, which I'm not good, good enough in CAD to remodel those yet. So I'm kind of just going to freehand it. but. Uh, because we have the car here in CAD, I can simply just mock everything up and get measurements like we're doing now. And uh, go from there. So That thing is wild. Yeah, so we have a new body design. Obviously the new engine cover. Um, Sebastian, the more tweaked uh, wheel covers. Those are being cut as well. And then we've got these new... Um, I don't know what you call them, fairings. They connect the rear side pods to the diffuser, which is currently hidden from view. I'll turn it back on, I guess. There we go. So, you see how that connects the diffuser to the wing. Does a bunch of stuff with air that I understand, but I wouldn't know how to design it. So, that's Seb's job. Seb, Seb loves doing this stuff. And then you can see the uh, air intake. That's going to go right down to the turbo, which is 
right here. So, a little bit of work to do. Oh, yeah. Look at that. I should probably. No. Cool. All right, guys, thank you so very much for watching. I know that was a little bit more of an abrupt stop, but I really want to make sure that we're giving you guys all the little, the good pieces of you know, what we capture you know all of these days so I know the last video was a little bit longer and I just want to make sure that you guys can kind of sit there actually enjoy it so you're not scrolling through a 25 to 30 minute video so stay tuned for the next episode though because Cody goes to Grand Rapids he gets to check out the actual place where they did the foam pieces for the engine clamshell or the rear engine clamshell however you want to put it so Again, thank you guys for always watching, subscribing, liking, and sharing all this stuff. We really love seeing the support that you guys give us. So stay tuned for the next episode, and we'll see you in the next one.